actually have asked me to talk about the way in which we organize our school. And because of that, I'm going to show you what we call an organogram. And at the top, you can see the two words that make up the word organogram. So an organogram is a diagram of the organization of the school. And we actually have two organograms and this first one is for a part of the school that you probably don't know very much about. When people think of schools, they always think of teachers and students. And of course, they should think of teachers and students because they're the most important people in a school. That's what a school is for, teaching and learning. But because ours is such a very, very big school, we actually have a whole other part of the school that goes on at the same time. And it's the part that deals with the administration of the school. The way that the business side of the school works. And it's really complicated. And there are huge numbers of people involved. There are more people who work on this side of the school than who work in the actual teaching side of the school. So we have 200 teachers, but we have 300 other people working in the school. That's an awful lot. I'm not sure how clear this is going to be, but if you look at the top there, all of this in blue is the part that I deal with directly. So, I'm there, and then here you've got Miss Jank, who was just sitting there before, who rules my life. There's a school lawyer, there's a community relations director, and communications. But then, what we've done is we've divided by colours all of the other areas of the school. So here, it's not really very clear, this is the IT director, Mr. Van Ypres. And he works over here with the educational IT coordinators. And you, of course, the lady at the top there, that's Miss Smith. Okay? But working directly for Mr. Van Ypres, we have all of the people here who are involved in making sure that the computer systems work. So you have the maintenance people, the programmers, the secretaries, all of these people in red all work for Mr. Van Ypres. And he, you see where the lines go? There, he reports to me as well. Now the next line, in the next colors, this is the finance department. And like all organizations, we run on money. Because if there wasn't any money, and who would pay your teachers? No one. If there wasn't any money, who would buy your books? No one. So we need money to keep us going. And this lady, Miss Laliana, is the director of finance and administration. And she has a whole series of people who work for her. So this first group of people are in what we call the treasury. So that's the cashier. That's the place where we receive money. And then here, we have all of the accountants, 
And here we have the purchasing department run by Miss Locke. So whenever we want something, whether it's refreshments for a party or whether it's school books for the entire school, all of that goes through the purchasing department. And all of these people all report to Ms. Laliana and she reports to me. Can you see how the organizational diagram works? All of these lines all connect up and they all lead back up there. In this next part, which is a kind of yellowy-green colour, we have what we call 